Hi, Smart Home Sunday. Welcome once again. My name's Paul and I'm tinkering as I like to do every Sunday in my hoodie. Yes, I do need a smarter home to maybe warm things up a bit. That would maybe mean I don't need the hoodie. But it's about being in the zone, okay? I'm in the zone. I'm focused. Sharing with you today trigger IDs because I finally figured out how they can be of use to me in my one automation to rule them all. So it was a couple of months ago I made a video, Smart Home, Not So Smart Me. I couldn't get the if else working. Back then I had a comment from 3D Puzz saying that look, you should be using trigger IDs. I mean, here's the answer, it's here, it's here. Use some trigger IDs. And then it even gave me an example down here, choose conditions, condition trigger, and then the ID. I had no clue what that meant. All I could say was, thank you. I appreciate you for taking the time to try and help me. I don't know what this means yet. Well, now I do. But it wasn't just uh, 3D Puzz. It was also Adrian and Mike also helped me out with uh, trying to build this thing right. Thank you also. Let me show you what I figured out. So I had a little bit of a problem in the house. I would have to say things are being a go quite well using Home Assistant to do some fancy things with the Philips Hue lights in the house. Uh, wife has been quite happy. There hasn't been any complaints. There hasn't been kind of a, a command to shut it all off. So I would say that's a success so far. But Yenny did comment that there seems to be something a bit funny. For example, when I go and turn a light on in the lounge, why do lights suddenly go on in the kitchen? Ooh, that's a problem. I figured it out. Here was the problem, and this is how Trigger IDs is going to solve it. So let me step you through the problem. So I have here, I'm looking for a trigger when the light in the lounge turns on. It's going to run through the automation. Now, I had a condition here that says, go and look if the light in the kitchen is off and the time is between 7 and 2100. And if that's the case, then it would turn some lights on. Well, that's the problem. Okay, all the lights are off in the house. The lounge room light is turned on, and it tells the automation to run, and it tells this particular condition to run as well, and it turns lights on in the kitchen. That's not actually what I want. So what I actually, the reason I have this just to explain it, is there are five lights in the kitchen, and when the main light in the kitchen turns off, I want all of them to go off except one over a plant in the kitchen. Right, so that's why this logic is here. It makes sense, right? You leave the kitchen, you go, boop, turn the kitchen lights off. But if it's during certain time of the day, just whoosh, turn back the light it's over that light over that plant. Light, plant, plant. I'm confused. But yes, so turn all the lights off, but put one on over the plant. Does that make sense? Take three. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, so the problem is I didn't have this right. This wasn't right. This is where the trigger ID comes in. So what do I need to do with the trigger ID? Now I'm no genius. I did go back and read the Home Assistant Guide. Uh, 3D Puzz, thank you, you pointed me in the right direction, uh, but this helped me out here. So I'm looking at platform, some platform, and then the ID. Okay, you just need to experiment, and it makes sense when it suddenly works. So here's what I have. I have here, platform, state, look for the dining table light to go off, and then I'm calling this one an ID dining off. So if the light over the dining table goes off, fine, we want to do something. But here, I'm giving this trigger an ID, dining off. Now what I can do later on in my conditions is now, I can simply run the condition if the dining off trigger was called. This is good and then the time is between 7 and 21. So just to have a look how it was before, you can see it here. What I was doing was I was looking for light in the kitchen, if it was off, and the time, and then run. So I'm gonna change this one. So let's go and have a look. Uh, I want to go back up here. I've already done the first bit. So I'm saying platform state entity ID light kitchen one. 
when that light in the kitchen, the main light in the kitchen turns off, I want this automation to run, but I'm giving it the ID kitchen off. So now I go down here. Now all I need to do is I'll get rid of this. But what I'm going to say now is look for the trigger. And if kitchen get too excited off is run. Right, you see that? So condition trigger. If the kitchen off trigger is fired and it's after 7 a.m. in the morning and before 9 p.m. at night then run this but this is it I want to share this with you today hopefully if you're getting started with a home assistant and trying to understand how YAML works as I am well hopefully this helps you today and if you are one of the people who helped me figure this out thank you I really appreciate your help. Thanks for watching and thanks for steering me in the right direction with Home Assistant. I'm definitely loving it. It's great. I'll be back here again tinkering some more next Sunday. I look forward to seeing you then. If you're interested in following along, there's a subscribe button. You knew that already. You probably pressed it. Thanks also. Bye.